Okay, this is Phil with Fulcrum Biometrics. Today we're going to do a quick demo of Fulcrum's FBF Live Scan for Federal Firearms Dealers. This is designed for those that are looking to create the EBTS file for uploading along with the JPEG photograph and the JPEG of the signature of the applicant. When you're ready to process an individual, the first thing that you need to do is click on Transaction. Transaction will open you up into the demographics screen. A couple of things you'll notice here. You have the demographics. I call these breadcrumbs up here. It'll show you where you're at in the process. Fingerprint will be the next step. Face, the next step. Signature, and then the review stage. So right now we're in the demographics screen. A couple of things you'll notice are these red asterisks. Those are going to be required fields. A couple of things also is, well, there's pull downs so that you make sure you get the right information in the right format in those particular areas. So we're going to give this file a name. First name, last name. And then you can just tab through. As you're going down through here, if you get to one of the fields and you know the code, you can start typing it. and It'll automatically put it in for you. If you don't know the code, simply come over and click on the box and uh, click the appropriate field. Here's social security number. Um, it's not a required field because not everybody has a social security number, but I recommend you highly that you do collect it. So you can just keep tabbing. As you go through, we'll go to the next required field. And you can fill in these other fields. I'm skipping over them for the sake of brevity, but you could uh, you could fill those in if you're so inclined. Go and choose the option that we need and then the last thing that's required is going to be the um, name of the official taking the fingerprints. So once we got all the finger or fingerprints, once we get all the information here collected, we just go down and we hit continue. And that'll take us to the fingerprint screen. On the fingerprint screen a couple of things. You'll notice that we've progressed down our path. We now got the fingerprint lit up. We also have images of the left and right hand. So why this is important is if there's a missing finger or a reason that it can't be fingerprinted, this is where you're going to tell LiveScan that you can't take that fingerprint. And it's going to take it out of the workflow, but more importantly, it's going to give it the proper annotation in your upload to ATF. And how you do that is if it's, say, a missing finger, you just go up here and you click and click the appropriate option here. So again, if you miss that, we click on the radio button up here, and then we just click whatever is applicable. If it's an amputation, or if it's just unable to print like it's bandaged or something. So if they're missing a whole hand, an arm or such, you click up here, and then you can remove all five fingers in one shot. And that will leave us with our right hand. So let me turn this on over here so we can get a better look at how we take the fingerprints. So I'm going to turn on our scanner and then I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to hit next hand and you'll notice a couple of things. One, you'll notice the LEDs light up here to tell you where you're at in the process. You're also going to see up here the color code changed so it shows you which fingers you're actively taking. And then down here, it's also going to give you instructions on what you need to do. It says plain right four fingers. By plain, they're just meaning take a flat image. So we're going to do all four fingers at once. We're going to place them on the scanner. And then it's going to take the image. It's going to give us a score. And it's got a bunch of fair in there. I think I can do a little bit better job than that. So I'm going to try again here. And you can always retry by hitting rescan. So if you're not satisfied with what you see, you can come in and try to take the image again. So I did a much better job that time. So let's go and hit accept. It's going to ask me for the plane or the flat of the thumb. Accept. 
And now it's going to ask us for the rolled images of the thumb. So you'll notice here it's going to show the thumb, and it's going to be the right thumb, and it's going to have the rolled button lit up over here. So you place your thumb on the scanner on its edge, and you just roll. It doesn't matter if you go right to left, left to right. Same with the flats, it's going to score the image. And then you just hit accept. And then you just kind of rinse and repeat with the rest of the fingers. Put it on the edge. Roll the finger as much as you can. Try to get what they call a nail-to-nail -nail roll. And we'll just keep taking the images. You get pretty quick at this. I think the hardest part is actually learning how to take the fingerprints, quite honestly. But once you get your technique down, it goes pretty quick. Now, if you notice, we got a pour. And like I said before, we can always rescan. So I'm going to rescan that finger. Oh, still got a pour. Well, let's try one more time. There we go. We accept that image. All right, let's get that scanner out of our way here. And the next thing it's going to do is you see it's going to take us to the face. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Start Capture. And it gives us a guide. It gives us a little frame. So you get your individual centered in that frame. Make sure they're looking at the camera. They should take the glasses off. And once they're ready, Snap that image. Oh, I guess I missed. I'll try that one more time. There we go. I'm going to accept that image. And it'll take you to where you collect the signature. So get over here and say we're going to start capturing signature. We'll have our signature pad. Put the signature in there, and then we accept that signature. Now it's going to ask us for the operator. It's not imperative to get the operator. It's not required on the upload, but you may want to collect it either, anyway. Either way, you can just stop, and it will take you out of here. But I'm going to go ahead and collect it, and I'm going to accept. And it's going to take us into this review stage. A couple important things about the review stage. So during this review, you can go in and you can QC your data and your images. So if there was something that was wrong in the demographic screen, you can go in and hit Edit, and you'll get popped into where you can change information on the screen. So for example, you know, if I don't, if I misspelled, it's Morris, not more. And then once you're done, you just come down here and save. And then you can go over to the fingerprint file. Now, don't press continue at this point because that'll take you right out of the review stage. We'll do that at the very end. So you can QC the fingerprints. Again, if there's something that you don't like with the fingerprints, you do have a chance to correct it here by hitting rescan. And that'll let you rescan your finger. Face, same deal. You can do a rescan. But most important, at this review stage, this is where you save your JPEG for your upload. So all you need to do is to click on the icon, right, and you can just rename this. We'll save that. And you want to do the same with the signature. Again, the little icon again, if you need to rescan it, you can up here to resave it. And save it. 
And then the last thing we want to do is to create that EFT file. And you do that by clicking down here on Continue. And it will take you into the way you see the Save icon once again. You click on that. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to create an EBTS file. And you say yes. And it will save that file for you. Now, as a good rule of practice, it would be a good idea to come into the search screen find the image that we just did, and look at the last four numbers of that TCN number. That'll help you match it up when you uh, go out to get your files and upload them to ATF. So I will go down here to File Explorer, and I'll go to that EBTS record where we saved our files, and we'll notice there's the number 73009, 73009, and that belongs to Philip Moore Signature and Philip Moore Face. So it's those three files that you want to save. Oops. Let's do that again. Those three files here, one, two, and three that you want to upload to ATF. And you can manipulate these files, whatever file system makes sense to you. But uh, again, you want to match up. Make sure you match up the proper files with the EFT file. One other quick thing to kind of cover at this point. I'm going to go back to where we did this again. Go into the search. And the search is kind of your file manager. Again, this is where you would find that TCN number. And this is where you will find all your files that you've collected over time. This is where you would edit them. And this is where you would search for them. Live scan for firearms dealers. This is how you would collect your files for your uploads to, to the ATF Form 4. If you have more questions or want more information, please contact us at sales at fulcrumbiometrics.com. Again, my name is Phil with Fulcrum Biometrics, and thank you for watching this video.